All right, I got a Polaris 400L two-stroke with a bad lower rod bearing. And today I'll show you how to completely disassemble, split the cases. All right, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, remove the bolts around the rewind. With all the bolts removed, you might need to just lightly tap on the back of the rewind to get it off. Next, you want to take the flywheel off, 22 millimeter socket, standard thread. Next, what you want to do is get your uh, flywheel puller on there. I just got a basic standard puller from Harbor Freight. It's about 12 bucks, works just fine. So after you get on there, just, uh, just remove the flywheel. Flywheel's off. With the flywheel off, you'll want to remove the starter bendix. That should simply just pull right out. Then you'll want to take these three Phillips head bolts out to remove the stator assembly. All right, with the three bolts removed, you can now remove the stator assembly. I just use the end of my uh, quarter inch extension, push the rubber grommet in, and you can simply pull the wires through. So at this point, with the stator assembly off, you're ready to remove the crankshaft nut. Using this special tool here that I just recently made, you can check out my other video. Simply place that on the nut. You want to grab a solid straight rod, stick it in through the top of the connecting rod, have it rest on the cylinder studs. This is reverse thread, so keep that in mind. Again, make sure your power is on. And simply go ahead, remove the nut. So now with the nut removed, we can go ahead and continue disassembly of this engine. So next thing you want to do probably would be remove the starter. And you can remove the engine mounts. These here are just 14. Move the back side. Move the starter, take these two off the brackets, these are just 10 millimeter bolts. Then flip it over, have two 10 millimeters on the inside. And your starter will come right out. Next, we'll remove the inner housing for the stator. These here are just 12 millimeters. Start by removing those. New on to remove, there's actually six 10 millimeter, four nuts, two bolts. With the 12s removed and the 10s removed, works good to tip it on its side. And if you can just tap right here on this angled piece, you can crack it loose. Once it's loose, put it back in this position, then you can slowly wiggle it off. All right, now that we got the interstator cover off, or water pump cover, go ahead and remove the water pump 
impeller. That's just a 10 millimeter nut. Works really good to use an impact just because it wants to turn the engine over. But it's typical standard thread. Just pull that off. Once the impeller is off, you can get this inner cover off. You probably just got to give it a good tug, but it'll come off. Next, you'll want to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. Opposite side, you want to turn the engine around. Pull these two 10 millimeter bolts here. And you'll want to remove, there's going to be five 12 millimeters. All right, next, what we'll want to do to get this gear off here, use the crank nut that holds the stator on. You're going to want to just put that on there, thread it so it's flush. I took a heat gun, I heat up around here. And then I just held it here and lightly tapped on this end. And you should just lightly tap. And eventually this gear will work its way off. Like so. And then if the seal comes loose, you can pull that off. Leave the nut on there. And what you're going to want to do is prop this up. Hold it up from the top and just continue to tap on this. So after tapping it on it a little bit, didn't hurt the crank at all, but you'll see it'll start to come apart. And once it starts to come apart, um, it works real good just to kind of just tap very lightly. And you just want to keep working this side of the crankcase off. All right, so when I was trying to get this off, this sleeve was tight. I just took my heat gun again, hit up to where you can barely touch it. And then I went to pull this off, and that sleeve just simply pulled right off. There you have it, cases apart. Since this lower connecting rod bearing is bad, I'm just going to be tossing out the crank. So I'll hold it up again like this and tap this end out. There you have it.